welcome to this video on question number 12 15 and 19 from october november 2013 paper number 22 which is a request of alia shahid so let's start with question number 12 a circle has a radius of 8.5 centimeter correct to the nearest 0.1 centimeter which means to the nearest one decimal place the lower bound of the area of the circle is in pi p pi centimeter square and the upper bound is q pi centimeter square now to find the upper bound and the lower bound of this number they have already corrected it to the nearest one centimeter so we will just see what will be the upper bound and the lower bound the format is they have already rounded till here so this i will under it i will write a zero next to it i will write a five and i will just fill the spaces with zero okay now if i add this value i will get upper bound and if i deduct this value i will get the lower bound so my upper bound will be equals to after adding 0 0.05 to this value it will be 8.55 and similarly my lower bound after deducting this value will be 8.45 right so to find the area we know the formula of area is pi r squared but if you carefully look here you will see the pi is still there they have not multiplied all they have used is r squared so i will say r squared which is in a for me for my upper bound my r squared will be 8.55 squared and for my lower bound it will be 8.45 squared okay and 8.55 squared will give me 73.1025 and for the lower bone 8.45 it will give me 71.4025 okay okay so um my p is actually this value uh, p was the upper bone or the lower bone okay p was the lower bone so my lower bone is 71.4025 24 sorry and it's 73.1025 we do not need to multiply with pi to get the area because in it is in terms of pi okay so we will leave it as it is and we'll just use this for this question and next question was number 15 find the coordinates of the points of intersection of the two lines now this is a line in the graph i don't know whatever the line is and then there is another line in this graph okay and they want us to find the point of intersection and its x values and x y values so whenever the two line meet they have to be equal at that point to meet them okay so whenever they are meeting it means they are equal at that point the one way is the graphical method but the other way you just have to solve both of them using your simultaneous equation uh, format in my previous videos when i had two equations i used the substitution method in this video i will show you how we can use the elimination method to find uh, to solve the two equation and to find the common answer okay so before we eliminate we have to either make the x's or the y's equal so none of them are here so but if i multiply this uh, equation by 2 i will have here 4x and i again i have 4x so my x's will be equal the values of x will be equal then it will be easier for me to eliminate okay so my equation on the up i will multiply it by 2 all over okay so it will become 4x minus 14y is equals to 4 so i have multiplied everything by 2 and the equation under it is the same as it is i haven't changed anything okay now how to eliminate x is is if i subtract 4 from here so 4 minus 4 so 4 minus 4 will give me 0 so what i'm doing here i will just write it um, subtracting this is let me see this is my equation 1 equation 2 equation uh, subtracting so equation 1 minus equation 2 okay this is what i'm doing equation 1 minus equation 2 so 4 minus 4 is 0 minus 14 minus 5 oh sorry it's plus 5 actually yeah so minus 14 so minus 14 plus 5 will give me oh sorry minus 14 minus plus 5 yeah it will give me minus 19 yeah and 4 minus 42 will give me minus 38 so I have a very simple equation to solve for y so I will have um, here I can say minus 19 y is equals to minus 38 so divide both sides by minus 19 and i will have finally 
y is equals to minus 38 divided by minus 19 will give me 2 so to find the two coordinates I have already found one of the coordinates right the coordinate of y which I have already found 2 now the x coordinate is remaining now, once I have found y it will be very easy for me now to find the x so now I can substitute it in any equation I want okay so I will just choose the first equation by random so I will say 4x minus 14y what is y y it's 2 and yeah so I have already substituted the y in this equation y was 2 I found I have substituted here okay so equals to 4 now I will just solve this I will have um, 4x minus 14 move uh, minus 14 times 2 is 28 is equals to 4 and then I will have and if 28 on the right hand side it will be a positive so I will have 4x is equals to 4 plus 28 which is 32 4 being will be divided over here finally it will be 32 over 4 which is 8 okay so I found my x and I found my y so this is my equation okay uh, the coordinate sorry finally I have question number 19 which is a vector okay so remember the roots are in this vector it's given a and c so we cannot use any other root that's very important o is the origin and a b c d e f is a regular hexagon this was important for them to write because it means if it is a regular so this length is equals to this length and this also equals to this length this is equal this this it is equals to this and it is equals to this so all of them are c c c this is a this is a and this is a okay so that was that's why they wrote regular it means all of the lines are equal anyway um, f for part a yeah the only parts we can go is a and C so we have to find our answer in terms of a and in terms of C let's start with part um, a we have to start from B and end at E okay so from B to E so I will start from here and I have to somehow end over here okay let's start now so if I go from B to C this route can I go this route yeah I have this route but I'm going against this route this route is from left to right but I'm going from right to left so this route is known as minus a because I'm going the opposite direction then I will go here so in real it was going up I'm going down so this route is minus C for me okay now I will go again negative a so I have reached here up till now this is a negative a and then I will go negative c again going down is negative t and I have reached my e from b so what I went was minus a minus c minus a minus c right so my final answer will be minus a minus a so I had 2 minus a and then I had 2 minus c okay so that was part a let me see part b is we have to start from d and at b so let me just uh, rub it first I have to start at where do I have to start B to no uh, D to B okay so D I have to start from here and somehow I have to end over here okay so if I go I cannot go this way I don't have this route so I have to go this way so if I go this route it's a positive A then again I go here it's a another positive A I already have two A's and then going up is a positive C right going up is a positive C so my final and I will reach here from D to B so my final answer will be 2A and plus C finally I have to find the position vector in parts C the position vector means whenever there's a position vector it all it means that you have to start from the origin and that's it that's all it means so you have to start from the origin and you have to go to E that's it. that's what it means the position vector of E start with origin and end at E so it's very simple now because we already have a lot of practice so I will just go negative C here I have reached here and then I will go negative a right so I will go negative a negative sorry this is negative a and that was negative C fine or 
even if you do this way negative a and negative c you will have the same answer anyway so it's up to you which route you choose but the only two route is up and down and this diagonal you can go but in the end your answer will be the same so it's negative c and negative a or you can say negative a negative c it's the same answer thanks for watching the video